What's up, Arkstars? Welcome back to an exciting day here in Pokevine Minecraft Pixelmon. So, in between episodes, I caught and trained up one of the best Star Ravias I could find, which was really quickly, actually, an adamant 21 IV and 25 IV speed nature and attack nature for our Star Ravias. So, he's basically perfect outside of having max IVs. So, we've EV trained up and he's almost Star Raptor, but I was looking around, I'm trying to think, who can I currently catch as a level 17 trainer? Mawile is a Pokemon I've never used. It's specifically this generation i would love to have it on the team so let's go ahead i'm gonna see if we can try to capture this guy i always think it's what bugs steal but i can use sleep powder on it right so in steel types can't you have powder moves affect him so i actually maybe that's the mega evolution specifically but i literally have zero idea overall truly truly honest no idea but we're gonna go ahead and catch this guy i think mawile is gonna be absolutely sick to have it's one of the best things each time i go to the new generations on pokefine is i can definitely always use a team or most of a team that i've never touched before which is super nice because like i've used Star Raptor in Invernate before, but I've never used anyone else. All right, time to go back out to Butterfree to put it back to sleep, but hopefully Butterfree doesn't die. If I script, how much damage is it going to do? Ooh, that was just over a third. That's okay. Boom, we go Sleep Powder. That should finish him off into a nice little drowsy sleepiness. And Ultra Ball on this guy. Come on, my wild, please get captured. Plus, I would actually like to learn what typing you actually are, considering I don't think I actually know. Yes, there we go. And we have It's Steel Fairy. Oh, I'm so stupid. And yes, a fairy type. That's perfect against dragon types, especially because there's a lot of strong dragon types starting in Gen 4. Now, I think Mawile's a physical attacker. Let's look at your stats. 27 physical attack. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I need to do a little bit of research real quick to see what do we want on this guy to make sure this guy's worth it. All right, so based off what I did a quick research on, you want mainly attack, speed, a little bit of defense, and sometimes HP. So there's mainly the two attack and speed and then HP defense. We got super lucky with 27 attack, 26 speed for IVs. Gonna replace Carnivine technically but Carnivine is going to stay on the team until we have a six Pokemon. Butterfree is just to catch Pokemon. So I guess our main goal is should be just to start training, EV training this guy. I guess the question is, what is our next gym and what do we even need for? Okay, so it allows you to gain trouble experience to level 23 or trainer experience level 23 and the use of level 55 Pokemon instead of 45 Pokemon. And this is in Seaburg, so it's probably a water S type gym. We're pretty decently set up for a water gym. But I'm thinking, is there a city that we can visit that we know we can actually get Pokemon because there are some cities we still can't get Pokemon to spawn like Silver Keep that I think that's either a steel or a dragon type city so we specifically can't get Pokemon that are specifically spawning there so we can get like Swellows but we're not looking for that what do do are there any limits of the battle tower what's the battle tower in this can we do this or is this like the original battle tower from the the gen 3 I remember that one battle tower register okay so cool oh this is specifically like actual Pokemon tiers like you have on Smogum which I don't know what any of them means I guess I guess we'll just go with UU. It seems like the most basic. I apparently have an illegal Pokemon on my team. Infernape is illegal in this. That's nuts. He's one of my only trained Pokemon. Okay, right, so what about overused here? You must have three or less Pokemon in your party. You know what? That's actually perfect for me. I should probably get Staravia into a Star Raptor before I go into this, but we're just going to ignore that. Oh my god, he trained to start off with. Yeah, I regret my decision. We could really, really use the Star Raptor at this point. Okay, so I guess going double team, because there's no way we'll survive, right? Well, he outspeed us let's go double team see if we outspeed he went with toxic okay because i wanted to pull off endeavor and pull him down to rhp so we can one shot him with the next pokemon please tell me these aren't all legendary battles that's gonna be insane let's go double team again magma storm how much is that gonna hurt okay okay and we got one shot so he's fire steel so we could go grass ground which is weak but we also could go fire fighting which is effective but i don't think it's gonna be super effective let's try it i regret the battle tower instantly okay let's go close combat it's our only chance to get this guy down super effective how much is that it's a critical hit too how much is that actually gonna do defense fell uh, oh yeah we're gonna get one shot in the next hit but i expected that and we one shot him i think that crit mattered i think i really really think it mattered venusaur up next i will take that we can go ahead and let's go flame wheel here maybe fire spin would have been better but that mainly traps it in i want to do as much damage as possible yes if we survive a single hit we should be good yes burn down that's gonna half its physical attack speed and venus was a physical attack oh he rose it curse rose everything because yes his curse works differently on ghost type pokemon i'm so used to just lowering hp but we outspeed flame will should finish it off right here please please oh no he barely survived burn will finish it off but he used curse again okay so burn should kill it and even if Burn doesn't finish it off here, we just need one more attack. Oh, he's got Black Sludge. I didn't even realize that. No wonder he's surviving a little bit. Okay, so one more Flame Wheel, and that will, you know, actually finish Venusaur off. Okay, I'm surprised that we've made it this far. We still have one more Pokemon, and one more Pokemon to battle. Slow, bro. That's going to be a really...
real downfall for us. Okay, use your torments and enrages Pokemon making and capable of using the same move twice in a row. I don't know if that's gonna be useful for us. Let's go fire spin just because we're not gonna be very effective. I want constant damage on it. Okay, skull that's probably gonna one shot us. If it doesn't, we're gonna go for I guess flame wheel. That's a critical hit. That's definitely gonna one shot us. Fire spins already one off. That's nuts. I guess it's two to five turns. Okay, so we do have a grass ground type though, so that's perfect for us. Let's set up leech seed right off the bat because I want to make sure we can get as much HP as possible. Psy shock, how much is that gonna do to us? We don't have a lot of special defense, but that did all right. Oh yeah, plus we have leftovers. So yeah, we have all the healing in the world. Let's just go ahead and mega drain it up between leftovers, mega drain, and our leech seed. We should be pretty chill just to sit here and eat up his HP while he tries to kill us, which he won't be able to do. We go razor leaf. I don't think we're gonna one shot him though. I mean, we might do a lot of damage. Slowbro's just a tanky Pokemon, and I mean tanky. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I mean, I'm pretty sure we won this first battle, but I don't. How many battles are there again? Like ten? It's usually like ten. Or is this one endless? I don't remember. There's a leaderboard in the lobby, so I'm assuming it's just completely endless. Okay, so we defeated the first round. Okay, so Star Ravia versus Venusaur. This is all right for us, just only if we had Star Raptor. Yeah, I kind of regret my choice of not evolving Star Ravia to Star Raptor before we came in here. Oh yeah, Venusaur so tanky. Power up that shouldn't. Oh, we avoided it. We don't have to figure out if it's gonna one shot us or not. Uh, we should go double team if we avoided that attack. It's probably better if we can avoid more attacks from him. Power Whip avoided again. Yes, there we go. We'll do one more double team, and I think we go all in with the aerial aces after that. Yes, we avoided another one. Okay, so we have plenty of evasive now. Let's go aerial ace. As long as we can dodge at least one more, that should be worth the all the double teams that we did. Look at that damage. That did so much sleep talk. Oh, that failed. Why would you try to use that move? I mean, it's completely AI, but it's still really interesting. It wasn't a sleep. I mean, I'm, does it have rest then? It's not, it's not something you usually run with rest, right? That's like Snorlax. Oh, Darmanitan. This isn't great for us, but if we can get one attack off, that should be good. Plus, our evasiveness is raised. Rock Slide. Yes, we avoided the attack. This should be super effective, right? Because he's firefighting. That's some okay damage. Okay, let's go ahead and keep it up here. It's probably our best move. If he keeps more missing Rock Slides, we're good. Rock Slide is what? 80% chance, I think. Plus, our evasiveness is raised twice, so we should be in the clear for the most part. Yep, he finally landed one. I doubt we live it, but it'd be really nice. And yeah, we're dead. But that's okay. We have one Pokemon plus just a little bit left. So if we go into Infernape, would that be worth it? We can outspeed, but I don't think we'll kill him unless we use close combat. And I don't, I'm worried about using close combat, but there's no way our Torterra is going to get through that. So this is going to be very interesting. I don't, oh, Rock Slide. I didn't think he was going to outspeed us. That's going to be dangerous. We lived it, but barely. Okay, close combat should absolutely finish him off. Just even if it is fighting versus fighting, it's just so powerful. Mammo Swine. Wow. Okay, we should outspeed, right? So close combat again this isn't gonna do one shot it's not gonna do nearly as much damage as it should because we've dropped our all of our stats this is gonna be bad actually it's just our defensive stats and yes we still one shot him four three oh my god there's another legendary i thought this was bad when we started off with heatran but we have latios one of the twin dragon psychic types that we're screwed because infernape's useless and there's no way torterra is doing anything we could go double team i don't think it's worth it there's no way we're gonna outspeed right so i think we just go with quick attack we try to get as little damage in as we possibly can that was actually more than i expected dragon pulse that's gonna one shot us maybe if we weren't star ravia but i don't know if star raptor could have handled that either okay so i think corterra is our next best chance sleep seed's not gonna work right actually it doesn't have levitate obviously i don't think and it's dragon psychic so the leech seed might work on it oh we can go bite on this perfect grass not on torterra why would you do that i mean oh yeah because grass not based off how heavy the pokemon is right so since torterra is so heavy even though it's a grass type it still does a lot of damage look at that damage there we go okay so bite was fantastic we need hp though so should we set up a leech seed while we have a chance or just go mega drain leech seed's not gonna matter so let's go mega drain we might actually finish it off as well oh grass out we should survive it just barely please mega drain finish it off we need a little bit of hp back to be able to take a hit that did literally zero damage we should have went with bite it would have been a guaranteed kill because there's guaranteed death here so let's go bite in case we oh he used calm mind oh my god why would you do that you had the chance to kill me i don't understand the ai the ai is is the only reason I'm winning parts of these battles right now. I'm a decent battler, but the, yeah, call mine. He should have just finished me off. A Cabalion? Are you serious? At least he's f steel, so I can actually take him out with my, you know, Infernape. But he's still one more Pokemon. That was a double legendary. Okay, I don't like this at all. I guess we can go bite in the chance of flinch. That's our best bet. But yeah, close combat, that's going to finish us off. But at least he dropped his defenses for our boy Infernape to hopefully clean up here. But we're going to drop our defenses here. Because, oh, actually, no. Because we don't want to use close combat. 
it would be super effective as well but i think flame will's our best bet so we don't drop our defensive stats so we can take a hit from him that's probably our best chance plus we have a chance to burn burn would drop his physical attack which would be really nice come on please do some good damage oh and there we go his why did his stats drop even more that's an oh because he outsped and we survived a close combat and I, I wasn't even paying attention i was just looking at his hp and we one shot him Ooh, whimsicott please flame wheel outspeed encore uh receive an encore we used flame wheel last time that locks us into a move right i don't care this is gonna be critical hit super effective stab come on finish him off there we go what are we on floor four yeah this is floor four we won round three this is insane we're back to domain Tan. let's go ahead and double team again oh rock slide outsped this time this is not good because we're obviously going to die that means we get no damage on our boy here okay so oh i mean we could test our torterra i think this is where we lose domain Tan's almost a perfect counter to us because our star raptor isn't strong enough to be a good account to him i guess flame wheel because yeah he has an eq too oh my god yeah i wanted to use flame wheel for the chance to burn just so we can drop his physical attack stat because that was the only chance we were gonna have and he outsped us with eq anyway so it really doesn't matter our boy can do some damage here but i don't think it's gonna be able to work we're gonna set up leech sheet because we're gonna have to be able to out heal whatever damage he does it's the only chance that we have with leftovers mega drain and he one shot us so we got down to floor number four i'll be watching to see how far you make it better luck next time you made it to three we did OU, so 39 and number 10 is seven so actually if we went with star raptor we might have been able to take the number 10th spot but i think we come back in here with a fully trained mobile or a fully evolved star raptor let me know in the comments down below leave a like comment and subscribe if you guys did enjoy oh and there's clear mount you can ev train your pokemon here but i think this is a great place to end off today's video so i'll see you all next time rockstars peace peace